Good afternoon. Um, right now, um, I just wanted to continue on the body of Christ. I will be in Colossians 1, 18. And this is talking about Jesus. And he is the head of the body, the church, who is the beginning, the first from the dead, that in all things he might have preeminence. Uh, and then in Colossians uh, 1 24 who now rejoice in my sufferings for you see what he says he says he says now rejoice in my sufferings for you Jesus Christ suffered for us he suffered he's telling you he says for now rejoice in my sufferings for you and fill up that which is behind of the afflictions of Christ in my flesh for his body's sake which is the church you see his body had to be brutally beaten for us he's clearly telling you in Colossians 1 18 and especially 24 which behind of the afflictions of Christ in my flesh for his body's sake, which is the church, the body of Christ. He says, even the mystery which hath been hit from ages and from generations, but now is made manifest to his saints. He clearly tells you that he himself suffered in his body for us the body of Christ now I'm going to be in Ephesians uh, 5 32 5 30 and 32 it says for we are members of his body of his flesh and his bones this is a great mystery but I speak concerning Christ and his church again he's saying that it's a mystery and he's saying that 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 we are members of his body there is no mistake in what he's talking about as him being the head and we are part of his body there are many members in his body it says for we are members of his body of his flesh and his bones and so that's who we are we are part of the body what's happening here when Jesus appears he's coming for his body you see he's the head so we make up his entire body right so he's the head he's coming for his church his body of Christ that are many members of his body so he can become one one with his people the bride she's all adorned can you imagine what the new heaven looks like it's it's decorated and it's all decked out in, in all kinds of jewels, emeralds, amethysts, diamonds, rubies. Can you imagine? The, the floors are crystal clear and, and the streets are of gold. She's all adorned, ready, ready for us and Jesus and Father God to house us. Do you understand? It's really very simple. It really is. It's very simple. Um, he clearly tells us that that he he says, "Who now rejoice in my suffering for you?" He suffered for us. His body was tortured and murdered and killed for us. Therefore, we become his body, right? for the sake of us we become the body okay um i just thought i'd, I'd uh, let you know about this right now actually um i wasn't thinking about doing this i was actually um here uh at my desk um 
uh, ready to, um, you know, uh, get my Bible and read scripture. And uh, wow, fi I mean, I had it already open where he needed me to to let his body know uh, that he his body was all tore up for us. So we become his body. See, because his body was all broken and all tore up uh, by beat, severe, brutal beatings, we are his body now. So all of us make up for his body, okay? I love you guys, and I'll talk to you later. And um, that's what I wanted to give you right now, that message. I'll talk to you later.